11.4, page four, last page before the homework. We're almost done. Um, this is kind of cool right here, actually. So write a letter in the box that correctly describes the three-dimensional figure. Again, you're gonna see this shape a lot. Um, does it come to a point? No, it's like a little wedge, right? So wedges are not pyramids. They're actually prisms, right? I've got these rectangular sides, and what is not a rectangular side? Right here, the triangle, okay? So this A is a prism. It does not come to a point. Even though it has triangles in it, those are actually the bases, not the faces. Ooh. Uh, how about B? Does it come to a point? Yep. Okay, and if I count the sides, it looks like there's six of them. That would be a hexagonal pyramid, right? This is a triangular prism. What about this one? Does it come to a point? That's a box, right? So there's no point to that. Um, and what shape is it? Well, if I look all around it, all I see are rectangles, so it's a rectangular prism, and it's gonna go in here. And then finally, look at D. This comes to a point right there at the top. That's bringing it this way. So this is um, a pyramid. Or I guess maybe you could look at it this way. It's kind of hard to look at that one for me. I always think that's a point, but that could be the point too. All right, so easy, right? Comes to a point, it's a pyramid. Doesn't come to a point, it's a prism. Name it by its base. Count the sides. Easy. All right. So identify the details. So we've got these three buildings, the Flatiron Building in New York City. It's kind of probably hard to see on mine because it's even hard for me to see it on here. But to me, I see that it has a rectangular sides, right? And it doesn't come to a point. I'm, I'm not afraid to sit on top of that building. And I've got triangles. So I look at this and I see a triangular prism. That's obviously a what? This is the ne Nehru Science Center, Mumbai, India. It's a cylinder, right? And then here, this is the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the Raiders. Um, and if you look at it, if you can see on yours, it's actually Luxor is Egypt. So it's, gonna, it's got a point at the top. So this is a square pyramid because it has a square at the bottom. All right, so if I look at it, one, two, three, you know there's one on the back side. it's kind of hard to see. It's not like the ones that they draw where you can see through them. Okay, so if you were given a description of a building and asked to identify which one of these three buildings is described, which details would you use to determine the building? Boom, what are the shape of the faces? Does it come to a point or not? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna look at. What are the shape of the faces? Do I have triangles? Do I have pentagons? What do I have? What are the shapes? Okay, and how are they put together? So a word problem contains details that help you solve the problem. Well, otherwise we wouldn't be able to solve it, right? Some details are meaningful and are important to finding the solution and some details may not be. That's totally true. So identify the details that you need to solve the problem. So we're just gonna underline details that we think would help us, okay? So I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna have you underline it and then I'm gonna underline it and let's see if, we, if it matches up. So read the description, underline the details you need to identify the solid figure that will name the correct building. So this, this one goes with this one and then there's 21 of it. So this building is one of the most identifiable structure in its city skyline. Great, don't need that to solve this problem, right? It has a square foundation. That sounds important, a square foundation and 28 floors. Do I care about the number of floors? I don't. Right? I don't care how tall it is. I just need to know the faces of it if I want to identify it. So I've got this square foundation, 28 floors. The building has four triangular exterior faces that meet at a point. Ooh, it's got to be some kind of pyramid. Uh, solid figure. This, if it's got triangular sides and it comes to a point, I know that it's a pyramid. I'm going to write pyramid. And it said the base was a square foundation. That's my base, so it's a square pyramid. And if I look over here, boom, we've already done that. That's the Luxor Hotel. Okay. This building, so we're going to do the same thing here, underline what we think is important. This building was completed in 1902. Well, a wonderful fact. It's not relevant to what I'm trying to do. 1902, though, pretty cool. It has a triangular foundation. Triangular, I need that. Triangular foundation. When I see foundation, 
that tells me that it's a base, right? That's the foundation. And a triangular roof. Interesting. So I've got a triangle and a triangle. Mm. Uh, that are the same size and shape. Perfect. Um, these, I guess we should probably add that. Same size and shape. The three sides of the building are rectangles. So my lateral faces are rectangles. So I know that this has to be a prism. All right, and the, the shape of the base was a triangle, so it's a triangular prism, and my triangular prism is the flat iron building. Flat iron building. All right, cool, good job. All right, homework's coming up next.